don't say this very often, but this week I found myself agreeing with Jeremy Corbyn. He's made a Labour policy pledge that I'm 100% behind. He's promised to ban junk food adverts on primetime TV before the nine o'clock watershed as a step towards tackling child obesity. This is a good start, but it's not enough. And I would go even further. We're allowing entire generation to poison their bodies with junk food, and it's time we did something about it. We should start treating junk food like we do cigarettes, by banning all advertising, putting serious health warnings on food, and introducing plain packaging for the worst offenders. Now, I'm sure I'm about to be accused of advocating a nanny state, Nick. <laughs> but if that's what it takes to keep our children healthy and protect them from harmful effects of a multi-billion dollar industry, then so be it. Well, I mean, Graham's really accurate in saying that obesity is a huge problem. It's going to be, it's the new smoking. That Simon Stevens, the head of the NHS, says it's, it's, I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's the fat berg that's going to sink HMS mm. Titanic. It's a national crisis. But do we really want to see those horrible pictures of, you know, on, as we see on the packaging for mm. cigarettes now, just the insides of lungs and you can only now buy 20 cigarettes and apparently this is actually working because I had to buy a packet of cigarettes the other day and I said can I buy a packet of 10 and they said no you can't you have to buy a 20 and then when the packet came it had you know some blackened gangrenous <laughs> foot on it and it True. it does make you think do you think it works though I think it, it, it does work and I think that maybe this is the time for emergency measures but part of me also thinks we're exposed to all sorts of temptations throughout mm. our lives. And part of growing up and becoming adult is resisting temptation. But when it's children, I think you're right. They don't have the same controls. They don't know that you have to run a marathon to work off a Mars bar. So I think there is something to be done probably before the watershed in mm. terms of banning all junk food. But then, of course, there was, you've got ads that pop up on your laptop. But I've got right, a couple yeah, of examples. Yeah. Before we go, I've got yeah. a couple of examples that I've had stored. Oh. I wouldn't eat them if I was <laughs> you. Junk in your trunk. <laughs> You've got some junk in your trunk. There's, there's, look, that's what, what it could look like. That's, so that's a, oh. a, a, a cheeseburger oh. with a heart, oh. OK? Oh. And that shows you how unhealthy that is for you. Would you eat that now? No. No? No, no but I wouldn't eat it before. <laughs> <laughs> and then and there's a lovely really carbonated <laughs> drink. Right. With a foot with a huge ulcer on it. Oh look. my God, goodness me. Is that how you spend your spare time? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know this the Premiership is, season is coming to an end, but you've got to find something else to do. I blame Blue Peter. <laughs> but is that, is that what the packaging could look like? That's what it could look like. So that's just an example of, of the illnesses, and, or illnesses and diseases oh. that, it's a very that you good get idea. as a result of, of, of eating and drinking these sorts of things. And Sorry, it's a, I thought you were a Liberal Democrat now. I so know, you're but you, you you're don't now live with me, and I'm also We're well, dead right I don't live with you. I'm <laughs> also a food fascist. Right. And policewoman, and I, you know, you mm. have to, you have to be quite Rachel, Rachel, Nazi-minded I mean, to... Jane, so, but look, what? it is not down to Cadbury's or Golden Wonder or Kellogg's to work out what the children are going to eat. It is down to mm. parents to say, you are not having that packet of crisps, you're not having that cereal, and you're not having that bowl of cereal. What about a huge bar of Cadbury's by the counter saying, buy a bottle of water and a Cadbury's for one pound? It's down to well, I, I, I agree with you, actually, mm. Graham. I think the concept of what cigarettes have done, you know, we started with a real epidemic, you know, 25 years ago. It was a genuine problem, a lot of kids smoking, etc. You know, by banning media, by changing packaging, by doing all the things that the government have done, whether you like it or not, it has actually worked. You know, the, I can't remember the statistics, but the number of people smoking today... One in 17 adults now. So which has gone down, very, yeah. you very know, few remarkably. Now. And I think this is as bad. Mm. It's just as a big an epidemic. And I think you're right. This is kids now. Mm. And I think by having that, you know, thrown in your face on TV, advertising, promoting it, it does encourage them, whichever way you look at it. So I think the argument that I've seen is, you know, you'll, you'll miss out on TV programmes because the, the amount of money being spent on advertising helps produce better programmes, better TV, etc. But I think despite that, I, I would agree with you, they should ban it and it should not be encouraged. I think about this a lot because mm. I have a really? five, soon to be six-year-old daughter who I've raised to eat really healthily and it troubles me that she has somehow got the message 
that the biggest treat you can get in life is McDonald's. A central email. It's not come from <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about she's that. Been, I couldn't help myself. Talking to me. It hasn't come from me. Mm. It hasn't come from anyone in her immediate family. I'm sure it hasn't come from her school. The power of fast food marketing mm. is awesome. You know, she has kind of subliminally absorbed these images. She found out about Happy Meals. She knows about the yellow arches. It's just the most powerful um, marketing message you can imagine. And I think it does successfully condition. I mean, I remember as a child, when I was a child, people had birthday parties. Mm. And McDonald's. You know, I remember walking around the freezers and being like, this is really cool. So, you know... It didn't on you any arm, was it? I mean, I would kill for a shape like... Well, that's not quite a shape like you, but a shape like... Honestly, what is is the problem with you folk? Do you you not see any individual response? It is not... It is not... It is not the role of the... We need to have individual responsibility. Smoking, by the way, James makes a decent point, smoking for underage. That is illegal. It is not illegal to have a cheeseburger. Although I said you guys How? would like to make Burger King, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and all the other places where illegal. You know, yes. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> yes. Wait, it doesn't work like that. No. You're meant to be liberal. You should be supporting yeah, me. Can't, as a country, example. afford the, the obesity crisis. By the way, I need to correct it. 17% of adults mm. smoke, not one in 17. Yeah, yeah. So, including me as a social smoker. <laughs> take yeah. the example I gave you. You know, a, a young child who, whose parents take responsibility. Who Is this your daughter? Yeah. Or any any number of children her social age. Social media. Imagine. So, so who 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 is so, responsible? So, so Graham's busy all night long making. Cheeseburger boxes and things like that. No, but the point is, Nick, is that is that by is that is that by blatantly telling people um, or downgrading the advertising potential of these things, they're not they don't look glamorous. You know, it's plain packaging, and then if you go to the extreme of putting a heart or a foot on, that will put some people off. Now that is only part of the story in the sense that you've got to have a more active society. And unfortunately, we prove we can prove with statistics that we are becoming more and more obese as children and then as adults. And, and it's not just about the economics of it, but it's, it's about, for me, it's about the balance between lifestyle. And, and actually, if you, put, if you take things home and put them in your fridge, you're going to eat them. OK? Right. The idea of this is to almost prevent you or make you think twice about taking it home in the first place. Then you have the opportunity of changing someone's habits. I think there's an argument that we could all have about, you know, the poorest people buying the most likely to buy sort of ready meals and junk yeah. food. I think that's a valid argument. I think you've got to overcome that part of the argument. But I think in terms of the principle of it, I don't see how you can argue against it because we're reducing the amount of exercise we're doing. Right. We're, people are obviously making the wrong choices, so we've got to help them understand and educate people away Let from this sort of behaviour. Let them just have a burger and enjoy kids. themselves. Yeah, but have a burger. They have, have a have horrible life. It's pouring with rain. They've got a job they loathe, with a boss they despise, mm. a wife they want to leave but they can't afford to. <laughs> he just wants a but burger and fries. <laughs> Let him have it. One, of the, things, one of the things that will change, and we've seen it already with, with, with a lot of the fast was food Was that just companies. me? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 With a lot of the fast food companies, they've actually improved the quality of their products because they're becoming more aware of the demand that, that there's less salt, less sugar, less fat in, in their produce. So actually, in a sense, if you can maintain the price point mm. for, for people to buy them, but we can force companies to be more accountable with what they put in them. Graham, what about if we thought, instead of having those really lurid and mm. discouraging pictures of that you had on packaging, how many hours of exercise you need to take to work off Jeez, that burger? Do that actually, it's really you know, an I, incredible I think, amount of time. 